Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 29 of my horror game tutorial series. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make our ghoul attack and actually damage the player. So we are going to write a player health script. And now if I go to the hierarchy and click at the player and switch into debugging mode and now have a look at the current health right here. So if we go to the play mode and wait a second, you can see that our current health uh, decreases and now we got a game over prompt in our console. So I will show you how to do all of this and I will see you after the intro. Okay, so now we're inside of the Unity editor and let's start by first adding a script. So right click in your script folder and create a new C sharp script and we are going to call this one player underscore health. Okay. And then open it up and say yes to reload all and then open the player health. So in here we are basically going to do the same thing as we did in the enemy health script. So well, let's start. Oops. So the first thing we need is of course we need a public integer and this integer is called max health. And we are again going to set it to 100. And then we need a private integer and this one is called current health and I'm going to set it to zero by default and in the start the first thing we do is we set the max health to the current health I mean the current health to the max health so we type in current health is equal to max health and that's about it. So again, what this line does, it checks what we define as maximum health. And then we are just going to say the current health, which we're going to change in the script. We are going to change that through, uh, we, I'm sorry, we are going to um, apply the current health, which we're going to modify uh, to the max health. Okay, so we don't need the void update, so we can go ahead and delete this. And instead we're going to write our public void take damage. And this void take damage, uh, this method is going to take a parameter. So this parameter is an integer and this one is the damage. So the reason why this is public is that it can be accessed from any other script. So what we're going to do now is basically we are going to access this method right here whenever we attack right here. Okay. But before we do that, we are going to finish the script. So we're just going to say current health minus equals to damage. And then we are also going to check if current health is less or equal to zero is less or equal to zero and then we are going to basically die so in this case we want to have a game over so void die and in here we are going to uh, just say debug dot lock and we want to lock game over so if you have okay so visual studio okay everything's fine it just took a long time to save so if we have a look at our at, uh, at our enemy house script it's basically the same but in the void die, we are going to destroy the game object. 
But we don't want to do that with the player because if we would do so, there would be some strange errors because for example the enemy chase script is dependent on our player which is here the target so we would get an error from there because suddenly the target would disappear and also if we have a look at our scene um, and have a look at the player the player has the only camera in the whole scene so if you would uh, delete him there would be nothing to display right so what we're going to do in a later tutorial so this is temporary we are going to change that change that to load a game over scene so what we will do in a later tutorial is we're just going to uh, load a game over scene once we died or we could also reset the level or whatever but i'm going to show you how to load to a game over scene okay so now that the script right here is set up we can go to the enemy chase script and now we need a new uh, variable and this is going to be a private because we don't want to see it in the inspector and it's going to be of type player health so it's going to be just a simple reference to the player health script player health and in the start we are going to apply that so player health is equal to find game object with tag or find okay so oh i'm sorry it's game object dot find game of uh, game object with tag so we are searching for a game object with a certain tag and again make sure that it is object and not objects so let's have a look at the player as you can see the player has the player tag so we are just going to look for that so game object dot find game object with tag and this tag is player and then get component so we want to get a component from that and this component is a player health and don't forget the brackets and the semicolon so what this code does it basically finds the player and grabs the reference to the player health and down here where we say debug.log attack we're just going to delete this line and instead we're going to write player health dot take damage and now as you can see we want a damage variable and right now we don't have one so let's quickly create this so on top of that i'm going to write public integer damage and i'm going to set this to i don't know 20 well let's say 50 so we will die in two attacks so public integer damage and I'm just going to write damage in here. And now if I save that and go back to the scene. And now I only have to apply the player health to the player. So make sure that there is the player health script on the player. And I don't think we have to set anything up for the ghoul. So let's test out. But before we do that, go to window and open your console. So if it is somewhere around here, just dock it down here to the hierarchy so that we can see that while we are playing. And also make sure that in the game view, maximize on play is unchecked. So it has to look like this. So now if we play and the ghoul attacks us two times, you can see, let me pause that. You can see game over. So we died. As you can see, the script is working now. And in the next tutorial, I'm probably going to show you how to actually spawn the ghoul when we pick up the weapon. And after that, I'm going to show you how to make the game over scene. And yeah, so thanks for watching. As always, if you got any further questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. 
And yeah, so don't forget to smile and until next time, bye guys. <laughs>